So in this lesson, we are going to be learning The Joker by the Steve Miller Band. So in just now learning this, I discovered that um, it is not in the key that I thought it was and had been playing it for many, many years. Um, and if you look out at other lessons, everybody is teaching this song in the key of G, and it's not. It's an F. Um, you can play it in G, but it, the, the original recording is an F. So there's really just three chords. It's F. B flat and C. And I'm just going to play the C like this because I'm already playing the B flat and it's easier. And then we got to get the sus chord in there at the end of the uh, chorus. So might as well just play it like that. But you could play C like that. Your B flat is you're barring the first fret of the A and E strings or E and A strings, second fret, third fret. That's your B flat major bar chord. So you just slide that up a whole step and you got C. So F, B flat, C. So you have the riff, the, the classic riff, and we'll learn that. And then you have um, the verse, which that riff plays through the verse, but I'm going to show you the riff and the chords to play. And then you have a chorus, and that's it. That's all there is to the tune. So let's look at the riff. So we're going to start on the first fret of the E string, twice there, then a third time, whoops, not a third time, sorry, twice, then third fret to the fifth fret. Now you can just slide up if you want. Then you go to the first fret, A string. So. Then you go 3rd fret to 5th fret, back to 3rd fret twice. So we have... And then 3, 5. And it starts all over again. Okay, so that's your riff. Um, now, when I'm when you're doing the single note picking, if you notice my thumb, I'm moving my thumb around to mute the strings that aren't being played. So right now I'm muting the C string, and I'm also resting on the G string, so they're they're not ringing out, or I don't accidentally bump them. Okay. Now when I go to the E A string, I move my thumb down to cover the E string. Now I'm picking it all with my second finger. You could alternate first and second or play with your thumb, you know, however you want to do it. Okay, so um, that's the riff. Now the chords under that are just F, B flat to C, back to B flat. So the strum pattern you could play is down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Okay, then when it goes to the chorus, it's a little bit different. It goes F, B flat, back to F, B flat, F, B flat, now C, back to B flat, and you repeat that. Last time you go to C, it hangs on it for two bars. And then we're back to the verse or the riff. 
Um, so that, when you're on that C for that last two bars of the chorus, it's... You put your pinky down on the fifth fret of the C string to get that sus chord in there. Then you're back to the riff. Back to the verse. And that's all. That's all there is to the tune, okay? So the strumming pattern, you know, um, since you're playing on ukulele and we're kind of, it's, it's all played on guitar, um, it's not going to work exactly. You can kind of do whatever feels good to you as far as the strumming pattern. And if you're singing along, a strumming pattern that works for you, there's nothing really, you know, uh, etched in stone there that you have to do. <clears throat> it's pretty flexible. So as soon as you play that riff, people are going to know what you're playing. funkier with it if you want to you can keep it simple um, but the thing to remember is it's an F now if you want to play it in G it'd just be G C D C so it's you know we've done lessons on how to transpose into different keys this would be a good opportunity to do that if you wish but but the original recording is an F so F B flat and C and there you have it for The Joker by the Steve Miller Band.